Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So, late last month, Microsoft rolled out the latest optional bug fix C release update for Windows 10, which is KB5053643, which at its heart and core is really a minor update. And as I mentioned in the video, which will be linked down below and in the end screen for the update, there were a couple of new fonts, crash and printer fixes and bug fixes. But just to let you know that the update is actually pulling and deprecating a UR feature in Windows 10. So if we just head to our calendar flyout on Windows 10, here you can see that the time and seconds has been removed. And this is what it previously looked like. So there we can see the, the time and the date. Now that's all been removed after installing that update. And I thought this was interesting. And it makes me think and beg the question, why is Microsoft removing a feature that's been in Windows 10 basically forever, just a couple of months before the end of support for Windows 10? It kind of makes me scratch my head. Now, by default, the Windows 10 taskbar doesn't show seconds in the um, system tray as you may well know. And you can enable the seconds in the system tray clock on Windows 10 by tweaking the registry, which I have made a video on. It's helped quite a few users out. I'll leave that link down below in the end screen. And while we are talking about previous videos, if you're wondering how to get the world clock on your calendar fly out, I'll also leave a video link down below in the end screen on how you can do that if you would be interested. And as you can see, if we just head back to the image, that date, as mentioned, has been pulled. No longer available in a nice format, just with your time, your seconds, and your date format. All we have is Tuesday, April the 1st. Now, Microsoft has previously given a reason why they have removed seconds from the Windows 10 flyout where they previously said that having seconds in the um, user interface, basically the GUR, they say is bad for performance because it means that the operating system needs to spend extra time on updating locks and periodic activity will prevent the CPU from entering a lower power state, according to Microsoft. And this is also one of the reasons why Microsoft didn't roll out seconds in the system tray clock with Windows 11 when they first rolled the system out because of because of performance issues. And then obviously that is now available with Windows 11 as an optional feature you can toggle on and off. So makes me ask the question though, even though that is the reason Microsoft has given why they did it so close to the end of support. And let me know in the comments if you've also seen that your time and seconds has been removed from the calendar flyout. Um, I'd be interested to know if this is globally, and obviously that's only after you have installed this update that rolled out 25th of March, um, depending on your region. And if you didn't install the update because it was optional, and you still have your seconds and time in the system tray calendar fly out, then when the Patch Tuesday update rolls out next week on the 8th of April, this update then those improvements and fixes will be carried over into the Patch Tuesday update. So there's a very good chance that Patch Tuesday will remove that for everyone after the update has been applied because it's a compulsory mandatory update. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.